What is going on, my beautiful dolls and divos? I am your girl, Tanisha Hines. So let's go ahead and have some fun with this shortcut pixie wig I made for my birthday. Um, I went ahead and used a little bit of, you know, got to be glue gel black bottle around the perimeter and around the whole entire stocking cap. So it was a stocking cap. Um, my hair is already braided down on the top. Then shower cap and another stocking cap. And I'm going ahead and blow drying that back because I just want to make sure that back does not kick up. For some reason, every time I make my pixie wigs, um, that's a dead giveaway that it's a wig. It flips up like it's Donald Duck, honey, and I cannot take it. So I'm just doing some little things to see what I like best. And um, it stayed in place. So... Yeah, that's what we're going to go ahead and do when I went ahead and did the perimeter first. And now we're going to go ahead and apply the got to be glue gel all over. And this was an easier step than just going ahead and using my regular pump it up and putting the blow dryer on it. It's just something I'm doing. You know, I might stay with it, might go back to my pump it up. Who knows? But you know. When you are creative, you know, you got to do what you got to do. Of course, I'm partying because it's my birthday. Mm -hmm. We're using Tara, the two, four, six inches. And at the front, I went ahead and used some of my snatched extensions, body wave, what I had in store to give me the fullness. I really don't really use the six inch. Um, I do a little bit in the back, but right here i'm gonna go ahead and use the four inches because i want a little bit of a flare a little fan and if i'm doing my own it's real complicated to try to use a clipper where it is for me because i cannot have no cricket behind shape up so we're gonna go ahead and flip it out and that two inches be giving me like you know eyebrow hairs honey a little eyelashes honey so i go in the first three rows with my four inches to give me my like little sideburns. I'd rather have enough head to go ahead and create my cut than to be limited to them short behind baby heads. And then I go ahead and use the two inches. Then I go back and use four inches. And then I go ahead and use my 12 inch in-house virgin hair in the front because I want the density, okay? I have thick hair and we want to make this you know, real cute and full in the front. And basically, it's your back and forth, your back and forth. I'm going ahead and showing y'all how I be doing it with my mirror. So I did my best to try to do the mirror and get in the camera. You know, I always do my own hair, but recording it, <laughs> whoo child, the struggle was real. I was so upset when I went ahead and cut basically the whole damn cut. Well, I cut the short part first before I go in to the front to glue in. So it's much easier for me to see. When I'm doing my own, I do it a certain way compared to when I do it on a client. You know. And that's what we're doing right here. And there we go. We went ahead and filled in with the two inches to amount the amount I want to go ahead before I start filling it in the front. And right there, you're going to see me try to go ahead and cut, child, girl. We're going to have to cut the video. Wrap it. Mold it. Boop, boop, boop. Mm -hmm. Finger curl. Nairobi. Curl and wax. You know, got it in there. Don't kill me in the comments. Please don't. Like, comment, subscribe. I hope you like my little birthday hairdo. I wanted something cute and short and sassy. Leave your comments below. I got so many videos coming up for y'all dolls. Give you face. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Until next time. This is...